my wife's original suitcase was sitting on the bed. Oh, she... It was closed, but I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Rachel's in the suitcase. <laughs> Inside Rachel's suitcase were a few days' worth of clothes, some personal effects, and a train ticket. As I stared at the ticket, I could feel myself flush with anger and resentment. The date and time matched the receipt I had found. One book in particular seemed a bit odd. I remembered owning it, but not that edition. <laughs> Rachel just pops out of the suitcase. You found me! Happy birthday! It's been your really, really elaborate surprise birthday party. We killed six men for your birthday. I think the one on the far right is locked. Oh, right. Yeah. Was I in here already? Uh, uh yeah. You were. Wait, check the TV again? Rage was pretty angry about that, I realized. Oh, that he bought the new TV. Yeah, oh. bef just before losing his job. That's a shitty... How was he supposed to know? Oh, so... That's his fault? Fuck off. The door was stuck shut. There was no fashion keyhole underneath the handle. No? Okay. It's, it's not an old-fashioned key. That's the problem. It's definitely... There's two kinds of keys. There's keys and old-fashioned keys. Also, odd-looking keys. So there's three categories of key. Mm-hmm. But yeah, a bit of a... Watch it. Overreaction there. Oh, you buy a new TV? I'm gonna cheat on you. Unless you bought a new TV. Oh, you lost your job? Well, now I'm mad at you for buying that TV. Like, how was I supposed to know? I unlocked the basement door. Okay. There were old Christmas decorations in the box. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There's a dirty old key here. Did I take the key? Ah. I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. I'll bet that unlocks the upstairs stuff. Mm -hmm. The roll clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. Ooh. I had put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. I gotta go back upstairs. This is getting sexy. Nope. Oh. Nope. Not that one. Yeah, trying to make a private room there, I see. It's the sex dungeon. The grimy key I found in the basement unlocked the door. Well, of all the dungeons we've found in this game so far, That one would of be them, the most pleasant. One of them would have to be it. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? What's this? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? I think you needed the crowbar. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciated its weight. It's a weird thing to say. Yeah. I love how heavy this crowbar is. Alright, back to the basement. <laughs> we are going to crack this mystery once and for all. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? We did. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This is it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Wait a minute. Hold on. So he separated to make a separate room in the basement, but he didn't put a door in? Oh. Don't, Don't look. look. There's, There's nothing but a bunch of hot clanging and banging down here. <laughs> oh. Don't look. Now there's splatters. Hot. But they're not white colored. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all the searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? Nah. The There's rags were wet. There. Matted, covered in dirt and grime, but inside that tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What I'd been searching for this entire time. I remember the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I've been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there. And I won't find her anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? 
I stumbled back upstairs, the pain in my leg is a dull ache now, and sat down in our, my, bedroom. My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this. I must have drifted off. All right, where to now? I, I guess these books were all actually mine then. It was my wallet with its contents intact. I thought I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman Store, that forest, that water tower. Was I at those places before? I don't think you were. <laughs> no, there's no way that was me out there. I woke up in that house, remember? I wasn't off in any damn forest. Man, this guy's getting irate. <laughs> this guy's getting downright indignant. He dropped the D-bomb. <laughs> it was the photo of the other man and his wife I found in that house. Were those really his wife's remains in those tunnels? It certainly seemed so. What did I think? the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? Yeah. The sick bastard must have. What else did that mean? There were some questionable things in those tunnels. <laughs> what else was he wrapped up in? It's like he found some dirty magazines or something. Some questionable things. In the shards that broken mirror, I couldn't see my face. I could see my face now. Gone. Now hollow and sickly and immensely troubled. What other illusions had I dreamed up? What other truths were waiting to be exposed? The laptop would finally run out of power. Well, <laughs> not much there. That's the basement. No, you're on the top oh, floor. Oh, I'm on the top. <laughs> What's this? My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and important documents in it. Use the digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I had left it somewhere. I surmise that at least two of the names in that musty notebook have been recent victims. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, those poor girls that I found in that dead forest. The forest wasn't dead. The forest was fine. They were dead. I wonder what happened to the other names on that list or the ones scratched out on the desk in those wet tunnels. Did we go in this room before? Mm, eh, yes, this was the one that was trashed. It had the crowbar in it. Oh, right. I guess he fixed it when he slept. slept. Or someone else put everything back together. Or nothing was Condom ever lamp. broken. I had that old TV for so long, I don't know if I could ever replace it. Hey. It's not a flat screen anymore. This is all feeling... It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe, I thought, I was ready to go back into the basement. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take a last look. That never turns out well for anybody. What's this? If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Nah. No, no. There were other means of dealing with this. The wall was cracked and pitted. I was told by an inspector this basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house. But by the look of that wall, I was going to need to fix the foundation. Maybe I do need... Oh! That's the knife on the ground. I was going to get this a warm safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? I might need the knife. I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. Everything smelled musty and old down there. Okay, I can't... I missed something. The pile of mail on the floor I now saw was addressed to me. Bills, credit card offers, a letter from the bank. They were all addressed to me. Why don't you try the front door? Yeah, why don't I just yeah. leave? I knew I needed to escape that nightmare. But what about the knife I still carried? I wondered, even if I left, would it really be over? So, did I leave that house forever? Let's hang around a little bit longer. Away. A warm place, I had thought. Where could that be? A warm place. Oh, well, they say the kitchen's the warmest room in the house. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> How many breakfasts had I eaten there completely alone? I must have locked the door. There was no reason to return to the backyard anyway. Not like you could just unlock the door and leave. This is my house. And... In the middle of my street. Specifically my house. Uh, 
condom lamp. <laughs> Did I go in here? It's yep. been in Man, there. Man, it must suck to not have a bathroom on every floor, huh? Yeah, where's where's the it's guy's top bathroom? top floor. Hope you don't have the runs. You're not going to make it. It's just the one bathroom. What's this? There. That was decided. It was the... Uh, wallet i think oh yeah yeah you didn't need anything in anymore what did i miss this room it gave you the option to leave but yeah but in the dirty faded glass it looked like nothing more than a faint shadow where's this warm place the old cloth at a bathtub hadn't been cleaned nearly enough still it would probably do you showed me the truth i wasn't sure there was any reason to keep on going so what do you think should i just end this misery <gasps> oh I don't want to do that. If you say so. Did by warm place, did he mean himself? I think he meant like the bathtub as a warm, like that old trope of like filling the tub, getting in and then slitting your wrists. Oh, okay. Did I look at that? By the looks of it, I haven't collected the mail in over okay. a week. I think we're just gonna go. I knew I needed to escape that nightmare. But what about the knife I still carried? I wondered, even if I left, would it really be over? So, did I leave that house forever? We're going. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess it was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Well, that's dumb. Things stopped making sense sometime after that. My memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened? Everything I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. Boy, this is going on a while, huh? Yeah. This, is, this dude's feeling some ways. That man I had found in the old house had killed his wife. I was sure of it, just as sure as you killed mine. After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? You know, I didn't know who had taken my wallet, but I knew it wasn't me who had been all over town, at Norman's or in that forest. I don't care what you think. I may be mad, but it wasn't me. Whoa. There were plenty of other people to blame for this. Why don't you start thinking about them instead? Why are you talking to us? Officer, just for a second, though, think about something else. Think about those poor girls I had accidentally discovered in the old forest. The notebook I had found in those woods had names in it. Names I think I saw somewhere else. It couldn't have been me behind that, could it? I would never do such a thing to such sweet, innocent people. The old factory used to be a haven of sorts, but when I saw it tonight, it was anything but... Well, you don't know if those people were nice. Yeah, could maybe have been they assholes. were assholes. They got murdered for, for lipping off. Those faded walls, those long dead sounds, they had stirred something in the back of my mind, but I wasn't sure what. I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective on all this really started to change. Norman was dead, but I had no idea what had happened to him, or what that box of clothes I'd found in his attic meant. Did he know? But as painful as all that was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. Man, this dude is just verbose. <laughs> After all I had seen and done, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea, though. It was the, only the beginning. The silence in the house when I had first stepped through the kitchen door, that should have been my first clue. To think that I went through all of that, completely unaware of what I would discover. Did you know? Before the end? Did you mock me when you finally showed me the truth? You don't know what it's like to have everything ripped away from you and... Well, now you don't know that. <laughs> How could I possibly go on not knowing what, to, what I do? Without Rachel, even the thought of Rachel, I was truly lost. As the door swung open, I could smell damp grass in the closeness of the air. After everything, it felt like I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth, I'll give you that. But now I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that had kept me going. I was sure... Word would get out, and soon enough, the police would come looking for me. And what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? Nope, you're on your own. Yeah, sorry, bud. So, I played this game a few times last night. And uh, I've played it a few times now. And really, every time, the ending has been different. Or at least there's been some different things in it. Um, there was a bunch of stuff that have popped up this time that I've never seen before. Including that weird 99 that just showed up. Yeah. I did a quick Google for that. I couldn't figure out what that was about. But, um... 
the ending I most often get because I explored um, Norman's house quite a bit more and I checked um, that mailbox. I committed mail fraud. It's a letter addressed to Norman from Rachel say admitting basically that they were she was cheating and she had bought a train ticket to leave and to go. And so the ending that I usually get is, or the, the last ending I had gotten was, no, I didn't find her in the basement. So she had realized that I knew she was cheating, and so she just left all her shit and took off. But the other endings you can get are like, yeah, she's dead in the basement, in which case you're a criminal crime committer. and um, Criminal crime that's right. committer. Um, but yeah, the one that is, she never really existed in the first place is kind of really unsatisfying for me um it makes more sense to have her be dead or at least to have her take off Mm -hmm. i did a really quick run because i wanted to get the achievement for doing it without picking up any items except for a couple of necessary ones and it was it was the same it was this like oh she never exists in the first place which is not a great ending but the other ones are pretty interesting the only achievement i think i'm or trophy i'm still missing is the one for um killing yourself with a gun oh everything else i've got now so I might have to do that just to complete it. But this is a good game. I think it was like $3 when I got it. It truly is. It's neat. And even now that I've you know been through it quite a few times, there's still been different stuff popping up. So, yeah. What was up with the 99, though? I don't know. Um, maybe I will tweet at this Benjamin Rivers fellow and see if he has anything to say about that. It's probably just a bug. It didn't seem to have anything to do with anything. But, uh... Yeah. What did you think? I I definitely I do like kind of the open endedness of it all. Like, there's a lot of ways you can really take how the story plays out. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just I re- I really like the the visual style too. It's just it's I normally I'm not like super crazy about the low like the faux low graphics, but in this case I think it worked really well just because they really stuck to it mm-hmm. um yeah i'm i'm interested in what else this guy does i know he's got at least one other game out and it's called alone with you and I, I don't know anything about it but um yeah this is a fun game this is uh kind of neat and if you really if you put on headphones and turn the volume way up there's some really cool ambient sound effects going on and there's not just the endings that i've talked about but there's a lot of other endings and things going on in the game so even though we've talked about it quite a bit there's there's quite a lot of stuff that wasn't really touched on here i was just gonna say the visual style of this it kind of reminds me of uh i can't remember the name of the the person i'm Mm -hmm. i'm sorry about that but uh he's done uh he mostly does like point and click games but these are just like flash games that you can just boot up the internet and play uh Mm -hmm. he's done uh He's done a trilogy. I think I know the one you're talking about. Like, Go on. The deeper sleep. Yeah. The deepest sleep. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Deeperest sleep. Yeah. Uh, yes. And those are those are also kind of horror games, right? Kind of ambient horror games. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of when you start talking about it, I figured out which one those were. Yeah. This one's this one's pretty cool. I'm gonna figure out what that 99 was about though. Mm-hmm. That was weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Was that all just part of the whole? main character going crackers ending Mm, probably there's another i think there's another room in the in the factory that has some weird stuff in it but either way um it's yeah it's all pretty it's it's pretty cool and really depending on what even you might get the same ending but depending on what order you interact with certain items in certain places it'll give you different descriptions so um yeah, it it can give you a slight, even if the ending is the same, it can give you, a, I think, a slightly different outlook on the actual events of the game, depending on the flavor text it gives you, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I like, I really, in li- I really enjoyed, enjoy, Ugh. Jesus, I'm tired. Yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed playing it. Not too spooked? Not really. There's a couple moments, but... It, you know what? Horror games aren't really scary when there's a couple people there. Mm-hmm. But if I was by myself, that would be a whole nother story. Yeah, I played this last night with headphones on, and I, I fucking jumped a couple times. But, 
I guess we can call this a wrap then, I guess. Yep. That was uh, Home, a Unicorn Adventure by Benjamin Rivers. <laughs> that is the full title. That is the full title. You gotta say the whole title. All right. That's it. The end.